Web design trends, they change every year. So what's in this year? The first design trend is colors, bold, vibrant, and saturated colors. Because you see, websites aren't minimalistic anymore, especially when it comes to color. This year, I expect to see way more color used everywhere. This includes mixing hues together, having stronger midtones, softer pastels, and even daring colors, which break the rules that we used to have. You could already see this with websites in 2023, but 2024, will probably push this to the extreme, especially with AI generating some extreme types of imagery. The second design trend is asymmetrical layouts. This web design trend basically means that you're building outside of the box of what is traditionally known as the layout for a website. Tables, divs, grids, they all made websites look more or less the same. But that kind of makes websites look boring. However, with the rise of no-code tools, creating layouts that don't adhere to strict column design is becoming more the norm. It's easier than ever to open up something like Wix Studio and create a website that basically breaks all the rules and yet works perfectly in all responsive viewports, which is why it's a web design trend that's definitely on the rise every year. The third web design trend is 3D elements because technology is moving forward and it's easier than ever to create 3D objects and put them on a website. There is software like Spline Design that lets you create these elements in no time at all. And all our devices are powerful enough to render these with ease. Plus, with the fact that we have unlimited data with 5G speeds, adding an extra dimension to a website design using 3D elements makes it way more visually appealing and interactive in some cases too. The fourth web design trend is super massive text. Each year, I see larger and larger topography being used for hero sections, feature sections, and just general headers. I feel like this is Apple's fault because I swear I saw this originate on some of their product pages. And I can understand, most people have larger monitors than they used to in the past. And if you were to view this page on a mobile phone or a desktop, technically it's kind of the same, but it's simple and effective. So I quite like it. The fifth web design trend is custom illustrations. A few years ago, there was a cool website called Humans. They provided free illustrations of people and they weren't the only one. There was also other websites out there like Undraw, which provided free SVG illustrations that you could even customize. While these websites became very popular, the trend for custom illustrations grew. This year, custom illustrations are gonna be used more than ever and they're not gonna be generic ones generated by websites websites, but rather custom created ones, because it makes a website look more authentic with a bit of artistic flair. The sixth web design trend is micro animations. It's the art of making small things look lifelike and animated in subtle but interesting ways. This year, it's not enough just to have a button that's clickable that changes maybe a background. You need animation and flair and you need to make it beautiful. Micro animations in websites makes it way more interesting when you do things like click the like button and subscribe button for this video. And personally, I always like the ones for e-commerce where you have a button with a shopping cart that actually looks like it's getting checked out when you select it. Hyperplexed, the YouTube channel, is a great place to see micro interactions and how to make them. The seventh web design trend is real life with digital overlays. This is where you add different types of text or even brush strokes to kind of interact with reality in almost a mixed reality kind of image. With how easy it is to use Photoshop, cut out backgrounds, add custom illustrations or colors and gradients or even topography. You can make the hero section of a website design look amazing. This trend brings more depth and dimension to web designs that would otherwise be flat or boring. And like any popular trend, I swear I see Apple use this all the time. The eighth web design trend is responsive design 2.0 or one size fits all. It's creating a web design that works the same on all devices. And yes, that means everything from a desktop to a tablet all the way down to a mobile phone. It's achieved through scaling with the fact that coding in CSS now allows for minimum and maximum sizes and no code solutions now provide scaling proportionally as a default. Creating a website where one size fits all is going to be much more the 
norm. It saves time, effort, and you will know what it'll look like on all devices. The ninth website design trend is AI generated artwork. Because AI can't make website designs just yet, but what it can do is create some realistic imagery as well as icons. I've created some really cool videos about how to use these to enhance the design of your websites. With there being so many different models out there now, like Midjourney, Dali 3, and many custom ones created by new providers, it's easier than ever to use AI to generate any type of image you can imagine. And this is perfect for web designs that need good looking hero sections or background images just to enhance different parts of the site. The 10th web design trend is no code. While it's technically not a design trend, the platforms available now through no code software are changing up how website designs are created. Because this trend of using no code platforms is growing, it changes how most websites now look. The result is that we have a mix of some websites that look a little bit like templates, while others that look uniquely interesting and completely out of the box. They make the possibility of combining all these trends together with a color vibrant website that has massive text with micro animations, 3D elements, overlays with a layout that doesn't even make sense, all of which can be created with ease without even knowing how to code. And one more bonus web design trend. This last trend, I'm not sure if it'll happen, but I would love to see virtual reality websites. While I know that AR and VR will be awesome with Meta and Apple's new Vision OS, I don't think virtual reality websites will be trending just yet. But I'm sure there are trends that I've missed out in this video. So if there are any you like, let me know in the comments below.